this weekend, I was off both Friday and Saturday and I decided that I was gonna take my ass outside. <laughs> I did my hair, I hated my hair, I took the hair out, I put in extensions, it was the wrong type of extensions, I knew it was the wrong type of extensions the moment that I bought them, but instead of canceling my order, I was like, let me see what it is, I'm just testing, I never bought from this company before. I received the extensions, they were very nice extensions, but they weren't the style of extensions that I wanted, uh, they were wefts, I wanted tape ends, and I decided that I would do half tape ends, half micro beaded micro wefts and I did it I succeeded in the installation but I hated it because I didn't have access to my scalp I've learned that it's very important to me to have access to my scalp I've stopped wearing protective styles simply because I did not have access to my scalp I did not have access to my hair and it, it didn't make sense as to why I would have a protective style and not enjoy my hair protective style to grow out my hair and then finally I take out the protective style my hair grows I don't know what to do with it it's so long it's so thick it's so curly I haven't managed it over the years it's been in protective styles all this time I've been growing it it's been growing but now what do I do with it because the things that I was doing with my hair when it was short I can't do the same thing. It takes more time because it's grown longer. It's getting more tangled because it's grown longer. And even though it's healthy, it's very healthy. I've been protecting it. I've been taking care of it. I've been nurturing it. It's still being put up. I do not have access to it. It's always put away. So I stopped wearing protective styles. And that was a realization that I had to go through. And I do still wear extensions. I just don't wear extensions that cover up my entire head anymore. I find it uncomfortable. Now that I've had access to my scalp for such a long period of time, I find it uncomfortable to braid my hair down and then cover it continuously with something else. I do like extensions. I do understand the reason for it. Um, I do like them simply because I can style them in ways that I can't style my natural hair. I like body wave curls every once in a while. I like wand curls that go down. My hair don't go down. I can't do this with my hair, you guys. <laughs> my hair sits on top of my head. No matter how long it grows, it's always going to sit on top of my head. And I am okay with that. I love my natural hair, but I can't do with it the things that I can do with kinky curly, well, kinky straight hair. <laughs> I love my hair. It just doesn't do the things that extension does. So I'll put in extensions every once in a while, but it has to be with certain type of extensions now because I no longer can live life without access to my scalp. I now find it uncomfortable now that I'm no longer wearing protective styles. I also style my natural hair. If you watch any of my past videos, you will see me actually styling my natural hair. And I found that important to me because I envisioned my life in the future. I envisioned my daughter and my child in the future. And I was like, how could I, how would I be able to teach my child how to love their natural hair? And the, how can I showcase to my child that I have love for my natural hair if I do not do it? How can I teach them how to love their natural hair if I do not do anything with my natural hair? And I understand, you know, teaching how to nurture and grow and take care of your natural hair, but also styling is a, an input is a factor in all of that so I had to learn how to style my natural hair and at first I asked myself how would I style my child's natural hair so I started doing children hairstyles on me I put in like barrettes I just well barrettes it's crazy because I didn't do that but jewels I put jewels into my hair I put beads into my hair very grownish styles if I can find a way to edit it to where you can see the styles that I did over the the past what two years and have I a good day because all my people outside today and all my people want to fight today hey we're gonna have a good day because this bitch is gonna get sliced today in all these different all types of ways hey we're gonna have a good I just day. tried all these different styles of my natural hair and I went back to base rate. I went back to kindergarten. I went back to elementary school because that was the age that I had in my life where my mom was doing my natural hair before she permed it, after she permed it, she was still doing the hair that grew out of my scalp. Now, my middle school years, oh, fourth fifth grade past those years that's when I started getting extensions and protective styles but I was also having perms and my hair was brittle and it was breaking off and it's a whole story a whole journey that I went through with my natural hair the hair that grows out of my scalp 
um, yeah, so it was important to me to ask myself, how would I be able to take care of my child and put myself in the position of my child? It was, it was shadow work that I was doing for myself. I was also healing my wound and I was healing my relationship with myself and unlearning all of the things that I've learned by doing research throughout the years, throughout my teenage years. And I'm not saying that what I learned was not helpful because it was helpful and it was useful, but I also needed to learn in a ways that was beneficial for myself in my future and the people that I would love in my future. So to conclude, I'm not saying that protective styles are bad because they, they do have their place in this world and they do allow you to do things that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise with your natural hair. But I also find that it's important to learn how to style your natural hair. How I started this video is not how I'm ending this video. There will be a whole nother video of you will see me in this top, <laughs> in this scarf that I'm using as a top. Um, so if you're wondering what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck, where did that come from? Um, ignore this video because I know people are actually going to be more more interested in what I'm about to say next Another thing I said was, oh my god, are you an esthetician? Because your skin looks amazing. Do you give facials? <laughs>